In this video, we will cover the tracker's role in the commenting and review workflows. The tracker watches the PDF files you send through a shared or email review and distributed forms. Whether you send or receive the review file, the tracker follows the PDF file's progress. I'll choose the comments panel to find the new location of the tracker. The shared review or distributed forms are sent by an Adobe Acrobat user who initiates the process. Acrobat 10 lets you initiate, track, and manage a shared review, but only Acrobat 10 Pro users can enable those with the free Adobe Reader to participate and add comments in a shared review. The tracker is the tool that maintains the editing trail of reviewers' comments plus time and location of each. The left panel of the tracker shows the shared review or forms the tracker has managed as well as the server status and RSS feeds or really simple syndication format. The send button means you are the initiator or the person who started the review workflow. Joined shows your involvement in a review someone else started. Notice the PDF file gets an underscore review added to the name as it enters the shared review process. Clicking the PDF icon shows the detail of each reviewer such as deadlines, notes, and reviewers. The blue link lets you adjust settings or travel back to the PDF file. I'll press track reviews to get the tracker. The file location shows the PDF file's home on the computer and the active status means that the review is in progress. If a PDF file uses a cloud web server such as Acrobat.com, the review copy is stored with the, with the comments. As I select Meeting Minutes Review, the details also appear on the right-hand panel. The server status watches the servers used for the review and notifies you of warnings such as disconnected servers. Since this review used Acrobat.com, I can set the security for who can read the file. As the initiator, I can change the deadline or end the review. If a deadline for shared review has passed, then participants will no longer be able to add comments. To continue the review, the initiator can change the deadline. I'll click Add Reviewers. If I forget a reviewer, I can email them later. I'll cancel this for now. In the Reviewers section, I can continue emailing to my reviewers with updates and add to my group. The comments are recorded and you can follow the progress of this review. Since the setup is already finished, I can easily restart another review from the tracker. I'm going to press Start New Review with Same Reviewers. I can press Browse or choose my file that I already have open. As I press Next, the wizard walks me through the steps to make sure I'm using the correct steps. I can choose the new menu to send my review by Save Preset Name and proceed with the steps previously selected. I'll press Next. Notice the tracker remembers the people I invited. Or I can make adjustments here. All right, at this point I'll press Cancel. And I can also adjust my system preferences from the Edit menu. And this determines when Acrobat is going to check for messages the server profile names can be managed from the tracker preferences as well. I have access to the tracker from my system tray. And the shortcut icon is another easy way to access my tracked reviews. I'll press OK and click on Track Reviews. The tracker is located in the Comments panel and tracks comments, sent responses, and distributed forms. It manages the reviewer's comments and deadlines. The initiator who sends the reviews can make changes, 
send reminders, and delete and end reviews. Use the tracker in Acrobat 10 to make sharing your documents or keeping up with your RSS news feeds faster and more efficient.